Hey everyone, I'm Justin. Join me today to learn more about being a voiceover artist. Voiceover work can be interesting, even lucrative work, but like most jobs in entertainment, it's not that easy to get into. We talked recently to Bob Williams, a retired voiceover artist based in Arizona. First thing he suggests is to listen. Listen to the commercials on television. Listen to the voices, that the faces you don't see. There's a diverse range of voiceover jobs, such as audiobooks, animation, and local and national commercials. Bob's a lifelong baseball fan. He wanted to be like the great baseball announcers from his youth. Originally listening to, you know, Vince Scully and Red Barber, Red Barber and, and Vince Scully on Dodger baseball. And if you, if you heard these guys, these iconic voices on the radio coming on as a little boy, you know, and as hello, everybody, this is Mel Allen from Yankees. You know, it's like you, that was your best friend. And I said, God, I'd like to do that someday. In school, Bob discovered that he can make his classmates laugh with his vocal talents. So I took that thread of wanting to broadcast all the way through school and used to get in trouble in school for breaking people up in class or saying something silly in the back or throwing my voice across the side of the room. You're hurting me. Bob went on to become a local sports writer, but he never forgot his dream of being a baseball announcer did a lot of baseball writing and sports writing and then uh, wiggle my way into radio as best I could on and off and in and out of that with a uh, background of working in a restaurant and retail. According to the Bureau of Labor, there were 70,100 actor jobs in 2019. Voiceover work falls under the actor category. They predict the job outlook will improve by 3% through 2029, which is about average compared to other jobs. The Bureau of Labor further reports that an actor's median pay in the year 2020 was $21.88 an hour. Even better news for voiceover artists, as of 2021, employment website Indeed.com said that the average salary for voiceover work was $33.02 an hour. But as we talked about earlier, it is a challenge to break into this business. It has evolved to where it is necessary to have representation or be such a, uh, a recognizable voice if you're not a celebrity. This was also true when Bob was a teenager, struggling to find work in TV and radio. I wish I'd got an agent right out of high school. And you're so lucky, Al Michaels, I love you. You're so lucky, Bob Costas, I love you. But I didn't get an agent and I didn't see the right people. One last word of advice from Bob regarding agents. If they ask you for money, you're in the wrong place. Don't sign with them. Some hopeful news though. There are job opportunities for multi-talented teenagers in this business. And you know, you can be kids and doing voiceovers. They use kids' voices as well. If you're interested in doing that or you have a little extra talent where you think you can act or you photograph well or whatever, then you need to get an agent in your, in, in your city as a teenager. Don't, don't wait longer than that, because things move so fast today. You can train for voiceover work by taking acting classes and by hiring a vocal coach. Bob suggests, if possible, going to college, where you'll also have the opportunity to network. Getting um, the internships at, at radio stations and TV stations and things like that, that's the best thing you can do. Another advantage to voiceover work is that you can do it from home. And I think that more and more, especially with the pandemic and the way we do things at home, um, that's a good thing to start thinking about. If you're going to put your pennies away and you're going to make this serious, start early as an investment to build your own little home studio. Whether you're doing a podcast or making an audition reel from home, here are some basic equipment you'll need. A microphone, a pop filter, an audio interface, and recording and editing software. Estimates for a basic setup range from less than $300 to several thousand. 
Lastly, if you can't afford soundproof panels, choose a small space like the corner of a room or even a closet to record so as to cut out as much outside noise as possible. For Bob, it took many years to get steady voiceover work, but betting on himself and his vocal talents ultimately paid off. He achieved his boyhood dream and was an announcer for two major league baseball teams. He also voiced commercials for a major airline. These commercials aired nationally and paid well, but more than that, Bob appreciated being recognized for his hard work and talent. To be at a Cardinal game and all of a sudden it's like, America West, what we do for you. Fly Boston, Chicago, New York to East like clockwork every day. And I'm sitting there and six people turn around and go, that's you, man, isn't it? Yeah, that's you. Bob began working in media as a teenager but he didn't find steady work as a voiceover artist until his 30s and 40s. I would make sure you have a day job too. <laughs> I would say to make sure that your primary is, I don't, I don't think you could be a primary voice person out of the gate. Not discouraging words, but practical. Bob says whether it's this or any other career path, get yourself out there and let people know what you can do. You, you got to be out there and move forward, make plans. Um, and remember one thing, um, you never get a second chance to make a good first impression. Thanks, Bob. And good luck to all of you, whatever next step you decide to take in life. Hey, hey.